Hello and welcome to the CCR Mumbai Daily Scripture Reflection. Today is the 8th of November and our verse for reflection today is Occasions for stumbling are bound to come, but woe to anyone by whom they come. It would be better for you if a millstone were hung around your neck and you were thrown into the sea than for you to cause one of these little ones to stumble. That's Luke 17 uh, verses 1 to 2. Now first let's understand what exactly is a millstone. Okay, millstone is a very huge piece of stone. Okay, and two millstones are used to grind grains. Okay, they are used to grind grains. And they are really, really, really huge pieces of stones or other rocks if you want to call that. Now, what happens when a millstone is tied around our neck and it's thrown into the sea? We're going to drown and we're going to remain at the bottom of the ocean or bottom of the sea. So Jesus is saying it is better that we go through that rather than cause somebody else to sin, rather than cause someone else to stumble. So it is that important for us to take into account the fact that we should not cause other people to sin. Now, how can we do that? Okay, so there are five steps uh, that we can follow in order to overcome our own personal temptations, our own personal sins that uh, we are struggling with, and also how we can stop others from causing the same sin. Five steps. The first step is we need to recognize what that sin is. If we are not accepting that we are at fault, right? Whatever it could be, gossiping, it could be anger issues, it could be not accepting our own faults when we are blaming other people the entire time. Whatever it is, the first key is to recognize that we are at fault, that we are sinning, okay? The second point is to analyze how we are causing others also to sin. Let's take for example the most common thing uh, that we like doing. It's gossiping, correct? If we find something bad about any other person, whether it's true or not, if we can't directly tackle that situation, the next thing that we do is we start talking about that particular person. So we gossip about that person to someone else. So what exactly is happening? We are causing the other person also to sin. So we need to recognize how we are causing another person to sin. The third thing that we need to do is we need to ask for God's grace. Because in John chapter 15 verse 5, Jesus says that apart from me, without me, you can do nothing. So we need God's grace in order for us to do anything, right? In this case, overcoming our own sins. The fourth thing that we need to do is we need to persevere, right? It's not going to happen at one shot. It can, but in most cases, God wants us to persevere. He wants us to try. He wants us to fail and he wants us to come back again and try. You know, that cycle keeps repeating. Even Saint Paul, after his conversion, was tested. You will find this in his second letter to the Corinthians. In chapter 12, uh, verse 7, verse 7 onwards. Chapter 12, verse 7 to 9. Paul says that there was a thorn in his flesh. He doesn't define what it is. But he was struggling with something. And three times he asked God to take it away. But God said, no, my grace is sufficient for you. So sometimes God wants us to persevere, correct? He wants us to endure. And many times when we are persevering, we feel like giving up. We'll say things like, why this is happening only to me and why all bad things happen to me and why am I again and again facing the same issues? But even for that, there is a word of encouragement in the Bible. If you check uh, the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, uh, chapter 10, verse 13, let me read that out for you. Whenever we think that, uh, this is only happening with me that I am the only one going through this particular uh, problem. This is the verse that we should remember so that we can keep persevering. No testing has overtaken you that is not common to everyone. God is faithful and he will not let you be tested beyond your strength. But with the testing, he will also provide the way out so that you may be able to endure it. So we know that there is a reason why we are being tested and why we are facing this problem again and again. And the answer to that is we need to keep pushing ourselves. We need to keep going back to God and asking him for his help, for his grace. And he will definitely provide the way out. And the last thing, the fifth thing that we need to do is we need to watch out. 
and we will find this in our today's uh, gospel reflection itself luke uh, chapter 17 verse 3 be on guard if another disciple sins you must rebuke the offender and if there is repentance you must forgive so once we've successfully overcome whatever it is that we are struggling with we need to make sure that we don't uh, we don't fall for someone else's uh, stumbling blocks that they place in front of us we need to rebuke the person who sins and if they are truly repenting then we must also forgive them and jesus goes on to say that no matter how many times they uh, come back and repent you must forgive them because that's what jesus does to us as well every time we go back to him no matter how shameful uh, we feel we can always go back to him because his mercy is endless and he's always welcoming us with open arms so these are the five points uh, let me summarize that for you again recognize your sins first secondly we need to analyze how we are causing others to sin third we need to ask for god's grace fourth thing we need to persevere and fifth thing we need to watch out for other people's sins and we need to forgive them so these are the five things uh, let us pray lord jesus christ we come before you today we thank you for your word we thank you for today's uh, gospel we pray lord god that we may be able to recognize all of our sins that we may be able to understand how we are causing other people to sin we ask for your grace today lord jesus that we may be able to persevere that we may be able to overcome this sin lord god so that we may get closer to you and that we may also bring other people closer to you rather than causing them to go away from you lord jesus at the same time we pray for your grace to forgive others lord god you forgive the people who actually crucified you you forgive us lord jesus christ for our sins you were crucified help us to be like you and forgive others and be better disciples with each passing day we make this prayer in jesus name amen in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my sheep hear my voice and i know them and they follow me 